Welcome back to the channel, everybody. A little bit uh, different episode today. We're going on a day trip to Kinzua Bridge in Pennsylvania. So the Kinzua Bridge uh, is a railroad viaduct, and it's a it's an enormous one. At its time of construction in 1882, it was actually called the Eighth Wonder of the World. Um, it was the largest railroad viaduct in the world. This thing is massive. Uh, you guys get a chance to take a look at it, uh, but it's a super cool structure and really cool piece of history. Well, when we got here, uh, there were hundreds of people. I mean, it would have been near impossible to get any sort of, you know, quality audio out of this thing. So we're going to do a voiceover. So the Kinzua Bridge was once considered the eighth wonder of the world. It was constructed in 1882 out of wrought iron. It weighed over 3 million pounds. Uh, like I said, it was the largest railroad structure in the world at the time. It stood 300 feet tall and stretched over 2,000 feet long. Now, in 1900, you know, locomotives continued to get heavier and bigger. So, in 1900, they dismantled the wrought iron structure and replaced it with steel. Um, you know, to accommodate the heavier trains. Now, one important detail here is that they left the original wrought iron bolts in place. The steel structure weighed almost twice as much. It was over 6 million pounds, but they kept those original bolts. Uh, basically, it was deemed you know, too costly and too big of a hassle to replace those, those wrought iron bolts. Also, from my understanding, the uh, wrought iron bolts, uh, they were too short for the steel structure. So basically, they created these like special like couplers to attach the new steel structure to the wrought iron bolts. That's an important detail we'll come back to later. It operated commercially until 1959, and then it was sold to a salvage company. Um, in 1963, the state of Pennsylvania purchased the bridge and turned it into a state park. Uh, starting in 1987, there was actually uh, sightseeing trips. You could get on a train, you could go across the bridge. It went through Allegheny National Forest, and uh, it was one of the longest you know, sightseeing trains that there was. Uh, basically, in 2002, Engineers took a look at it and noticed a bunch of, you know, corrosion, especially in those old anchor bolts, which at this point were, you know, 120 years old, basically. Uh, so they shut everything down and they started restoring it. But not even a year later, in 2003, an F1 tornado tore through the Kinzua Valley and uh, it toppled the structure. Um, the structure failed at those wrought iron anchor bolts uh, that were originals from 1882. And, uh, you know, most of the structure has been laying on the valley floor ever since. They have since restored it. And, uh, you know, both ends are still standing. And the one end, uh, there's like a skywalk. And it's actually pretty cool. There's like a, a glass floor. And you can actually walk out over that glass floor and look down into the valley. But uh, yeah, that's the history of the uh, Kinzua Bridge.